My start. So, Madam Speaker, in current status quo in Taiwan, teacher forcing and think it's good that students to read that must read book, must read book. But our team truly believe that the people's point of view to read a book is different. Then we have to respect them by this motion. So I'm the prime minister of this debate. So as a prime minister, I'm going to define this motion and talk about our two cases, which will be standard and stereotypes. So moving on to my definition, we define this house as a whole world and must book list at which is company or university that told and choose and prefer to read this book. For example, now in current status quo, Seoul National University that choose that 100 um books to the must book list. So I can truly believe that um the reason why we're doing this debate is everyone's everyone's point of view read, read to it book is so different and also we have to respect them. So under this principle of knowledge, our first stakeholders are the most important reader and and secondly the 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 people who mostly read by by forcing by the hagwon, the students. And the, um, our first criteria is we'll prove that we'll making a better knowledge to the people. And secondly, the proof why opposition world is worse. So moving on to my first case. So my first case is a standard. So many people's view and understand view and likely view, their hobby view, their interest view, the all view of the um, people who read the books is really different. So so much, but think about it. Think about the re um really. So must read book view. Uh, must read books view that view which is many readers um read. They can un they can understand that. Um oh, is this not my view of this point? Is it not my interest? Is it this is book is not really like likely to me. So we'll prefer the world which is that. The preferred world is people can express their diversity point of view by the book and people which can read a diversity point of view by the book. So let's and also that people can find their own view of the reading a book and own likely view of the reading a book. But what their side is making is, Mr. Madam Speaker, this the stand they just having the enforcement and stereotypes that people are the men the most um like the must read book is list is the just best book in the world, and must, we have to read the must read book that including not not including the respection of the people's um diversity view. So moving on to my second argument. So my second argument is the stereotypes. So actually, the most must read books list is um written by the many universities and big company and they choose what is um really good book and must read book but we can believe um we can believe and as a citizen in this whole world in reality think about really they thought university books and company books are so good and so uh, so we're so proof that we can read and we can good. Yeah, we understand the university books and company books can be always um good, but it can um like I said in my first um first argument, their point of view is so different that we can't respect. So moving on to my point, there's a universe. So we have our own view. They will and they will they they can thought and they can um they can express, but. Every university and every big companies is there. Is there just 100 books in our society? Is there just 100 books which is so good? But with just 100 books, but our team truly believe that in, in engaging our reality, the people will thought that just 100 books in our whole world is good because it's just a must-read book, Mrs. Madam Speaker. I can truly believe that it, there's just not a 100 books in our society that we can we have to respect our um, people to express their diversity view. So, Mr. Speaker, what I told in my speech, I talk about two cases which are standard and stereotype. And lastly, what our world is making a point to express that there's a lot of diversity view to express by the book. So, thank you for listening. I'm proud to propose. So may I start?
So, Mr. and Madam Speaker, in our status quo, adults are suffering from um, false decisions and money, households, and other etc. Hard, hard decisions that they have to um, get over in their lives. And we believe that must be, let's teach an important lesson in life that adults are that adults are, have essential that it is essential for adults who are living in our today's society. As a prime Min minister, uh, if we not pass this motion, we believe that uh, we will pr prioritize the benefits of must-read book lists and our team's burden. We believe that our team's burden is to explain why and how these must book lists are have more benefits than harms. And I believe th their team's burden was to explain why and how must book, book lists have more harm than goods. So I have two major points to discuss in my speech, but before, quick response to the previous speaker. So I have one very important thing to clarify in my speech today. So we believe that we are not for forcing the readers to read these uh, must book read book lists. Um, we are only recommending them to read this book list before they die. We believe that they are. We our team is. I'll clarify one this point. We are not. No, thank you. We believe that we are not forcing them to read this, but however, we are recommending them to have a better life in society. And second response. Say say that people have different perspectives. However, Mr. and Madam Speaker, we believe this is invalid because most of the people choose books and must book okay, lists. Yes. So engagement really is um, in Hawaii. For example, in Hawaii, they um, they are forcing the must book reads, must read books by the um, their homework or their their academy. As I said in this motion, we believe that these must book lists are um, are mostly occur to adults, which means that they are so National University um. Must book list that no thank you as you you told us and um, let me continue we believe that um people have different perspectives of choosing books and must read book lists by considering their own point of view it's because their own view is equal as their own interests so and uh, one more response we believe that if we follow the government team's case we should believe that must go travel it's or must go must go, must streets that we should eat food are also bad too and I want the next speaker to come out the podium and explain about our point too and. Can I, I will move on to our first argument. So our f team's first argument about trustworthy literature. So, Madam Speaker, the, I will first explain about the characteristics of universities and pub pu publishing companies. And we believe that these um, these uh, universities are very um, trustworthy to um, recommend us literature because they we are commonly defined these people as the most educated people in our current society, and we believe that these people are very trustworthy to choose it. And more further on, how are these books made? We believe that a lot of scholars have discussed about th these points and choose the best book they sh they want their citizens to read and be educated. We believe that, yes, th their team might argue that it will be biased and they will want to read by their belief whatsoever, but we believe that these people's recommendations are better for the individuals in our society. So, second point, we're, we think that these books are very beneficial for our lives. As he said in more as I said before, in our status quo, adults are suffering from many, many uh, obstacles in their current life. We believe that um, these recommendations of books help the help the reader help the adults to have a better perspective in life and to have a better decision in their life. And moreover, we believe that uh, must read books teach valuable lessons to adults, and we believe that this is very good. Um, these these must books. Uh, must read book lists have contain many different kinds of books like information books or having a having um, some psychological books or science books and many other books that are very important to adults who are living in our society so we believe that these books are very important in our society and we believe that it causes way more benefit beneficial um, beneficial points and the harmful points in today's space so mr. and madam speaker so I'm very proud to oppose to the given motion Mr. Speaker, in our society, we have this reality where students are reading this must
must read book lists from these um, famous companies and universities by parents and academies. I'm forcing from this book of the reason that this book is from the list from these universities and companies companies that are making the stereotype of this forcing and we, we believe that the other team is not thinking about the reality in our society of the problem. Even in the EBS documentary, there is a study where 83% of students are reading by forcing about this must read book list in our Korean society. So we believe that um, their team is not seeing the reality in this problem in the status quo. So we believe that our team is solving this problem. Hello, Mr. Speaker. I'm the Deputy Prime Minister. And today, um, I'll talk about two rebuttals and we rebut the rebuttals and talk about our team's last case. So to move on for the first rebuttal, the other team talked about this trustworthy about this must reading books. They said that these university and companies will have this um will make this book books very good and they will um pick these books that are very good and have important lessons that will be helpful to that will be beneficial to students and also other people. They said about even they said about this like they that these books will be choose by scholar, very um very famous scholars that will be so they so in logic they said that they will be beneficial to students and also adults. However, Mr. Speaker, we already proved to you that we have this different view of people because their team just thinking about the stereotype about this university views are important to these people of that have diversity of views. We believe that not in only university views. We have lots of diversity and we believe that people will not only think that universities are this important book about this different views. So we believe that their first argument does not stand. So to move on for the second rebuttal, the other thing talk about that there is like these adults that are very stressed and very um very not helpful from this life that is very stressed and they believe that in this um must read book list by, by this reading of this book they will be very helpful in this life and will be beneficial to adults but however mr speaker i have two points of this first they didn't prove or give an example where these books that are showing the stress of, that are not showing the stress of life and they didn't prove us they didn't prove us persuasive that these um that these lots of books will all eventually help these people about this stress and also for a second book no also for the second poll, we believe that in this in this debate, we already taught you about the stakeholders, that these important stakeholders are not just adults, but we believe that there are students about this, which is very important stakeholders in our today's debate. So to move on for the first re rebuttal, our team talked about the standards. So we ha so we proved you that about this different standard on um, standard thoughts of students, they will be different from the university standard thoughts. And they said that they are not forcing that they are not forcing these students to read. But however, Mr. Speaker, they are not thinking about this reality in our society where people are preferring this world where um where must read book lists will be um better than their their books that will be choose that is not thinking about this diversity and also have this bias where the university books will be very good. And also I'll like talk about in the third case. And also for the second we about our, our team talked about the stereotype. So we said about the stereotype of that universe, university books are um very good. We have the stereotype that is very biased. They said that they are agreeing the pro that they even said that they are agreeing this problem about this university. We have this problem about this diversity problem in this university in some books. So we believe that they are agreeing in our problem and agreeing in our argument. So we believe that their rebuttal does not stand. So to move on for our team's third argument, our team's third argument is about this showing forcing. In our society, in reality, where the other team is not thinking, we could see this must read book list where university of companies like BBC or a lot of library of bookstore. If we see this must read book list, we need to think about this reality in our book society. In today's society, we have two worlds need to agree this reality where people are preferring this must read book list. Our reality about this must read book list is where lots of students, parents, academy, and all these places or people where it will this will be related to the book education will prefer these books. Why? Because this is a must read book list about this university and companies which is famous and has choose and elected. So then in my point, why is this showing for Zing? Why is this showing why is this showing for and why is this bad? We believe that the, because of the reason of university and companies and the reason of the reality that their team is not thinking, that could not be changed, that these family, parents, and academy will force the student. So, then, this is a reality. Then, my point, why is this bad? Because we believe that from the reality of reading this book, children have the freedom to choose that they want to read. So, and also, in our world, we prefer where there was still a little education, educational book from parents. So, we believe that the other team is still making this forcing, but however, we have less forcing than the other team. That is making a better society than the other team. Mr. Speaker, what have I told you? I told you about two rebuttals and rebuttal their rebuttals and talk about our team's last case. Thank you. May I start? So, Mr. and Madam Speaker, before I start my speech, I would like to ask the government Government thing one thing. How are you saying that books are books and must read books lists are not all not, are not all important at all? How I, I want the next speaker to respond to this this uh, point. And now I'd like to move on to our first first 
first few are first few arguments the previous speaker the previous speaker has said that it is not for it is not forcing us said it is forcing however we believe that as i said our previous speaker kept tell you our, our team strongly believes that must read must read bungles doesn't have any forcing it in and our team believes that it is just recommending yes the government team might say that um in hagos or so on um teachers might wake up first time to First time to um, read these must book read book list, but however, our team believes that in our society, we believe that um, um, the government, uh, the parents and teachers can fo cannot force them force children, and also we believe that that was not invalid at all. And they have said that we are only only thing wow. that university are important. However, we believe that we we did never set the point, and we believe that I want the government team to listen to our point more carefully. And they have also said that stu uh, there, there are students who get our feeling forcing for this must read book list. However, our team strongly believes that this is not true at all. Our, we, we believe that yes, there are students who might feel forced, but I really believe what? that must 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 read book list from from the universities and publishing and companies. We believe that these are for all us and also children too. But however, we believe that these kind of uh, literature can be can be what? very efficient in their life. So therefore, it can. It can be, or uh, it can be benefit into this that career, and and they have said that we don't think about reality. However, we believe our team strongly believes that we are, we are thinking about reality. Our team believes that the the government team is not what? thinking about the reality that reality that all people in the world uh, are the mass reading boomers are forcing children and adults, and so therefore I like and. That being said, I would like to move on to our teeth. last argument, which is about in good purpose. I, um, Mr. and Madam Speaker, I have two level analysis to prove my case. And the first level analysis is about what is the must read book list purpose. Our team strongly believes that it's, it's, the, it is not for forcing and it is for to recommend recommend people uh, people to read good books. Yes. Do you believe that other books are not important than these um than these proposals? Yes, we believe that these kind of books are other books are important too. But however, we believe that these kind of must read book lists are, are can be efficient in life, as our, can, our previous speaker has said. And continuing, uh, these kind of must read book lists give give benefit to pe people's life. And also, we uh, and the sec uh, and also we believe that these kind of must read book lists can give 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 a uh, more. It gives um, benefit to life, as our previous speaker has said. And also, we believe in the second level analysis. But why? Why does it not give Bangladesh? I've, uh, what? Why is that not not give Bangladesh? Yes, the government team might say that it lacks creativity, and the uh, says the uh, says reads uh, says books are should be picked by themselves. However, we believe that. The, we believe that this kind of creativity, we not as I said before, continuously, we are not forcing them to read these must book read must read book list, and we believe that this is not a really good. And and what have to, to, I told you in my speech, Madam Speaker, Mr. and Madam Speaker, I told you that we our strong our team strongly believes that this must read book list are not forcing at all, and 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 we believe that students can f choose must read book list by themselves, and also our. our a previous week I said it can our must read book list a trustworthy literature and can give you to benefit in life. So our team is proud to oppose. Which are perfect cases, and I would like to rebut the third argument, which was, which was good purpose. They said that it's more benefit to life, and also they said that they preempted that we're going to rebut to them like privacy will be limited. However, they said that they're not forcing, just recommending. However, I too strongly believe that in first point, benefit to life, they don't have any explanation about the why it's benefit to life, and also. Second, they said that it's not forcing. However, I strongly believe that even if they keep sta stating that it's a just a recommendation, if the parents think that there is a comic book and also there is a recommended book, who, which book will going to parents going to parents going to like give it? 
They must give the not comic book. They're going to give books that are recommended by the university and companies. That means that it's also forcing people to forcing students to read these books. Read these books, even if it's even if even if like they keep stating that it's not a, that the first thing and also it's the recommendation. I do strongly believe that as two as these two points, their argument really fell down. And now I'm going to talk about clashes that I discovered in today's debate. First clash is about standard versus professional. Our team's, our team's argument standard was that students and people's view is different, so our team strongly believed that we need to allow this motion. And their, their side is professional, talked about like the university is more educated people place, so that's why our team, that's why like we never need to allow this motion. However, but just the reason the university are educated, the place is well educated, the parents, we need to follow them. No, I too strongly believe that we also respect the views that people have. I too strongly believe that as our argument standards, there's a lot of people who are, who are having really different views, views with university, university professor for thinking. However, if you keep, keep recommending, keep forcing students to read these like, different views, Views we are too strongly believe they are really not respecting, and also this is really answer to our points that we need to respect people's views to not not keep forcing forcing the books that they okay. recommended just because it's it's well educated. Are too strongly believe that the standards, the first clash, ones, and second clash, stereotype stereotype versus beneficial, beneficial to people. Our team's argument was that. They they like students would think the university is also good, always good because there is a there is a like a lot of books that the university recommend to and school school let them forcing to read them. Our two strongly believe this is a really stereotype and their their side. It was beneficial to people that that it was going to help better decision to people and others too and also like helping to get off the stress about the about decision decision about like giving the good books. I too strongly believe that the their t- their teams is keep keep arguing that adults we're going to be happy because it, because if you don't allow this motion that they're going to have better decision. However, I too strongly believe that their team is keep stating and also keep making about the really bad stereotype that universities are also good. However, our team strongly believe that if you don't allow this motion that Parents would also follow the stereotype that university books are good, so they're going to also give the books the university, university well educated universities like recommended book to children. Our team strongly believe that this is the first first thing, and also it's not really beneficial to adults and also the to children who need to read it. However, stereotype. Our team strongly believe that we de- describe this with a lot of examples and a lot of good good like reasoning and logical reasoning then why there's a stereotype if we don't allow this motion i too strongly believe the second clash one and lastly i'm going to i want to ask you who's more forcing i too strongly believe that we are not forcing however they're keep stating is recommending however they're keep forcing as i told you in our their third argument rebuttals i too strongly believe that we are making students to read a lot of diversity diverse books that have a lot of views that students have and also are too strongly believe that as this reason we want this debate. Thank you. Because still we can't understand why must read book list does more harm than good. We believe there are more benefits than harm since we believe we want in this debate. I have several classes to prove why we want in this debate, but first let me have some clarif- clarification toward the government team. So first they said that we are our team is still forcing and they give an example of uh, parents and how how mm-hmm. ones give children books and 
uh, that university recommended. However, Mr. and Madam Speaker, we believe this is a very extreme case. The books in must read book lists are very hard for children to read. In this case, we can know that the children who read books in must read book lists are mostly they pick the book for read for their information and good for their future. Yeah. And I have more rebuttal, but they um they also didn't rebut to our previous rebuttal that our dialogue proof and also they said it is we force book as they said. But as our team continuously say, we think book lists are care uh, book lists are made because to make the children and people to be recommended for this book and choose the book to read for their good their for the future and their point was only thinking about the yeah, students but we think well what well, we are talking about adults and uh, we believe they are not forced but they are picking the book yes 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 um so did you say in your hook, hook that um there's no example that um no forcing the um students to but did you see in the um, current student school in the academy we can we can see the forcing? Well, however, the books in the of uh, the university uh, Seoul National University recommend is very hard, and if if the Hagwon and school are uh, forcing them to read, we believe they are enough skilled to enough skilled to read that books, and since it will more it will bring more benefits to the children, it will be good thing. Thank you. And uh, let me move on to my class. So first class rules are about why world with must read book lists will bring more benefit than harm. So Mr. and Madam Speaker, what we continuously prove on this on this debate was about why must read book lists are created by universities, publish, publishing companies, and media a agencies bring more benefits than harm. We also claim that because of curated by professionals who are trustworthy wow. and they only choose books that is good for good to read for people. Well, what's the only response to the government team? They said people have different point of view. Mr. and Madam Speaker, isn't this a very irresponsible government? We believe they are who yeah. they are who forcing people to not read the books that are there are in must read book lists. There are still people who want to read books that are in must read must yeah. read book lists. But we believe they, that the government team is just forcing them to not read the books. Not read the books. That uh, even that the people who who wants to read books, they are just forcing them because uh, you have different point of view. They should not read books, and we believe this is a serious immoral and uh, uh, seriously immoral. So thank you. And uh, let me move on to my second class, which is about whether must read book lists bring benefits that of individual benefits to individuals' life. So most honorable judge, we believe we continuously proved why harm is lesser than the benefit that we prove that they prove. And our honorable leader opposition presented about what about by reading books in must read book lists, most of uh, lots of the people can gain benefits for their future life. We also claim that people can learn lesson to develop their life. However, the government team said about we are ignoring the reality that people are getting forced to read in Hagwon or ETC. Mr. and Madam Speaker, we clearly want in this class because isn't this agreeing to our point which is benef the must read books a list is beneficial. Even if the government said it's forcing adults to recommend uh, adults, adults is recommended books is mu in must read book list are because it is helpful to, to helpful and benefit beneficial to the people and also as I said these books are very, very qualified to, for children to read since most of the children will choose the book in must read book list and we believe we want it in this class and also I would like to highlight that if, if the government is uh, continuously arguing about that it is forcing the uh, children are getting forced by the Hagans and school to read this book we believe they are agreeing that the uh, people is thinking that the uh, books and must read book lists are beneficial enough that why the people is um, recommending to people to read the book um, I am more than proud to oppose thank you for listening thank the speaker for her speech and I would like to invite all to reply So may I start? Ladies and gentlemen, and my most honorable judge, our rule still thinks that must read book lists created by universities, publishing companies, and or media agencies have more benefit than harm. Let me point out some important critical points throughout this debate. The first issue we have to examine is about the burden of proof from the each team. The opposition team's burden of Burden was to prove benefits of must-read book lists. Our team explained about the trustworthy literature. The previous elements that the must-read book lists are books that are trustful. Since the author of these books are people who are famous for education, so that must-read book lists were, are trustworthy literature that people can trust and get better quality of information. On the other hand, the, uh, the government team failed to prove why must-read book lists curated by universities, publishing companies, and or media agencies harm people. They, 
They explain that the perspective of individuals are very different, and if there is must-read book lists, it is blocking people to see the world as their perspective or view. However, Mr. and Madam Speaker, we believe that people can choose to read must-read books lists or not. But then, what does this mean? People can choose to read or not. They can choose to read or not fits to their perspective or views. This can mean that just because it can block readers to read book as their perspective doesn't mean that it does more harm than good if we pass this motion, since what the government team mentioned was invalid and furthermore we believe this is invalid because most of the people choose books in most read and in most read book lists by considering their own point of view it is because their own va- own view is equal as their own interests and let me continue so comparing each team's burden of proof it is clear that our team was clear to be close at our goal f- goals or the burden so that we we shouldn't pass this notion and the and the second issue we have to examine is about the world that will be created. Our team wanted to make a world that can prioritize the benefits of reading for people. Our team explained this point by the idea that it benefits of life. Since must read books are famous, they give lessons. These lessons are created from skilled people so that the lessons from these books will benefit people. These books can teach good lessons or essential lessons that benefit people's life so that our team world can prioritize the benefits of reading for people. On the other hand, the government team wanted to make a world that can pr- protect people from stereotype. They said that if we pass this motion, it will create stereotype. Since people will believe as the must-read books lesson, it will give stereotype to people. However, we want to ask them if they are saying that lessons can even cause the stereotype. If we believe that lessons give more benefits since it can give new idea to people and grow new perspective. People will be able to look at society as the new perspective that can benefit people. To further explain, they, let me have some clarifications before we end this debate. They, they also mentioned that we should respect people's choice. However, we are not forcing them. As we keep argued, most read, most read books are made by professionals. It is trustworthy. Also, we are only recommending them to read these books. Since it can benefit people, p- publishing companies or university will choose these books because they think these books as respectful or trustworthy books. And and so, so comparing each team's world, it is clear that our world is better for people. Our team pr- proved more about w- our world and benefits of it. So in conclusion, our team is more than proud to oppose to the given motion. Thank you for listening to my speech. May I start? So Mr. Madam Speaker, they're totally not engaging to our context. So, Mr. Speaker, I'm here to I'm here to organize organize this debate, and lastly, I wrap up this de- this debate by our two issues, which is firstly about forcing, and secondly about specific specific benefits of their side, which is their their keep talking about to us. And lastly, I'll compare the world comparison of the both sides. So, first of the issues, the first issue is about forcing. Uh, are, are we told? We told that it is showing forcing. Uh, it is make it is the academies like, make homework to read it, and but we uh, and they stated that it is not forcing. We are preferring that, but we believe that by their name of Seoul University, by their name of BBC, we believe that they all the um the society and their parents are are forcing are forcing the children to read the book read those books about like um. Mm, such as like gender like uh, such as gender they they don't really understand about it and other things other really other really hard things to understand for the individuals to understand it so we believe that it is just forcing not not respecting their not respecting their own uh, own own standards about their reading and what they what they understand in in their books so we believe that they're forcing even if they're not uh, they're not keep stating about even if they're not stating about no, not not stating what it is not forcing, and they are not understanding to the context, which is about it is a forcing society. There, there we and we believe that it, that is not a context that they were contextualized in this debate. We believe that the adults, the adults, uh, doesn't have um, uh, adults doesn't have not much suffering than this than this um than this problem, which is about forcing the students to read those books, even if they don't understand, even if they have own own sta- uh, standards and. In the society is totally ignoring their standards. So, secondly, about the second issue is about the specific benefits they, that they give. So, let's agree about the problem problem that they give, which is about the which is about the adults adults getting problem about like on uh, non non good informations. So, let's say we uh, so let's say it's a true. 
So, but we believe that uh, they're not just they're they're not benefiting only there. So, but we also benefiting benefiting because we're not saying we're not saying don't read don't read any books don't read any books uh in uh in in the whole world we are not preferring the um must read books but we're pre we're preferring to, to read any books that you like to 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 respect your standards mr madam speaker so we believe that they're not giving their uh we we also give the benefits so we believe that it's not a specific benefit to their side so secondly, uh, the last thing of the world comparison, the our, our comparison is about it is, it is not forcing it is respecting it is respecting their standards and and for the opposition they're not respecting their standards, uh they're making uh they're making the children and the adults to uh, to read that uh to read that not understanding even if they don't like it. So Mr. On Speaker, please vote for our side. Thank you.